Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the background is a little different today. I'm actually filming in a new environment, you could say, and it's snowing right now. You in the background hear a little bit of snoring or loud breathing. It's my two dogs back there, my little dogs. And usually when they're sleeping because they snore really loud, I let them sleep somewhere else, but they're getting used to like the new setup and new environment. So they're always by my side. These are the products that I have been collectively keeping. Some are still in the packaging, but the new products that I am trying out. So first I'm gonna start with the skincare tools. Now I have mentioned these two first ones in a previous video, I used them, but I just bought new ones. I re-upped on them. So this is a Japanese foaming facial brush. This brush is actually the only brush that I've used on my face. I've bought them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, from different brands, but they are so harsh on the skin. They're like really plasticky bristles. And what makes this one different is that it has soft bristles, very gentle bristles like you'd find on a makeup brush. Plus I like how it has the little string on it so you can hang it up for it to dry. And then this other one I always talk about, which is a foaming net. Now there's some that's specifically made for your facial cleansers, but I find that the really inexpensive Japanese ones made for like a bar of soap still work. I have already I already went through a few of these last year because you know you have to replace them because they get wet. Any type of like loofah, sponge, brush can grow mold the older it gets. Um, so you have to replace them. But I just wanted to share them again because they're the exact same brand that I bought and the ones that I stand by. The other facial tool that I have not, or I guess skincare tool I have not tried out is a foam cleansing pump. So I got this at Daiso. What I've seen online, how people use this is they put their cleanser and then you just pump it. And these little holes are supposed to get some air to the cleanser and make such a rich lathery foam. I'm just gonna keep it in my shower, try to pump it um, when I'm not using this facial foam net and see if it really does make a difference in the cleansing part of my skin. Moving on to the skincare itself. Now the first thing is a Japanese gentle gel exfoliator and this one is called the natural agua gel cure what this is is that this is kind of the same concept as a powdered uh, chemical exfoliator it's supposed to take off the dead skin in a gentle way i already used this in the shower a few times and since it is a change of environment my skin has been so dry and none of the skincare was sticking onto my skin so i knew i needed to gently exfoliate my skin literally like a gel facial wash um, but once you start rubbing it in especially around my nose and where i had a lot of like sebum and bumps dead skin peeled off almost as if you were to use a physical exfoliator so you just really have to take your time use a little bit more not like a drop a few pumps and work it into parts of your skin do a little bit at a time and you will see on your hands all the dead skin that is coming off moving on to the cleansers that i have picked up from the japanese drugstore uh this is the cow brand soap brand talked about this one a lot this is the uh, self pumping foam cleanser it's just a gentle simple cleanser that I use in the morning time so i have gone through a few bottles of these but i got a new one and then this one is new to me it's the same brands but this is their milk cleanser so this is supposed to be a lot more creamier and you can use it as an oil cleanser so it says it's a makeup removing lotion so technically it's like not an oil, it's more of a milky cleanser, but it takes off your makeup. So I wouldn't solely use this just to wash my face. I'm going to use it as a replacement to my oil cleanser just to see you know, how it works. And then I would cleanse my skin. So always it's a double cleanse at night. So I am going to give this a try. Um, and this brand is really good. I always say it's cute little pink hearts. Speaking of oil cleansers, this is the one from Kose. I talk about the orange one a lot. They, had, they have three different types, an orange, a yellow, and a pink. Um, and then the yellow one that I have right here is the whitening one so whitening on usually skincare products not really lighten your skin it just really means to brighten your complexion no matter what skin tone you are as far as an oil goes i don't know if it's really going to make a difference in the complexion but it will help to remove my makeup so when i'm not using this milky makeup remover cleanser my jaw is snoring 
Um, I am going to use just a traditional Japanese oil cleanser to double cleanse, remove my makeup, and I wanted to try a different type. All right, so the last skincare product is not Japanese, it's Korean. It's from the brand I'm From. The kit itself comes with three products, the Mugworth Essence, the Honey Mask, which I've already tried out, and then the Rice Toner, which I'm using right now. So this one is the main thing why I got this little setup because the Rice Toner, I didn't want to commit and buy the full size of it just in case it didn't work for my skin. Um, but so far, so good. It is a lightweight, milky toner that I use now that I'm in a colder environment. Um, it's really good to hydrate your skin with a milky toner. So I use this in the morning time. The Mugworth Essence one, I'll probably use when it gets a little bit hotter weather. That's because Mugwort, I find, since I tried out the I'm From Mugwort mask, uh, is really good in the summer to control oil and to like brighten and refresh in the complexion. The last one is the Honey Mask. I've tried this enough. I've gone through um, a few bottles of the smaller size, so I'm ready to commit and buy the full-size jar of the honey masks. I know I'm gonna go through it. It is a really great mask uh, to keep in your shower once you have cleansed your skin. Pop this on while you're washing your body, rinse it off. For the winter time, it's really healing. Um, it's really nourishing to the skin. And honey, I just think is a really great ingredient to use. I did try to use like straight raw honey, but it wasn't as good as this mask. This mask is formulated just to use as a face mask. So I found it works a little better, but it's really healing, especially if you have irritation on the skin, acne scars, this will help really just nourish it and bring it back to life. Last but not least are the hair products. Now, I wanted to just throw this in because I did use start to use them last night and I do think they're a really good alternative to making just uh, natural DIYs if you're in a rush. So I have been testing out the Mirel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask and then also their Rosemary Mint Scalp and Strengthening Hair Oil. So what I do for a treatment for my hair is I use the oil first and I put it on the scalp and just solely pretty much on the scalp. Sometimes I use a little bit on my ends and what this is supposed to do is supposed to help stimulate the hair growth. So this one is marketed that it obviously has rosemary in it, but if you read the ingredients, it does have other things too that's good for the hair, coconut oil, almond oil, aloe in it. And the other one that goes with it is the hair mask. So after I used the oil, shampooed my hair, I put on this hair mask. It's super thick, so a little bit goes a long way. Um, I would even call this like a hair dressing because it's really thick. Um, and I feel like it brought life back to my hair. I really wanted to see when it naturally air dried, no product in it, how it was gonna look. And I feel like it made my hair a lot more shinier. It was so dry, so dull, so lacking life that these two products really brought it back. Okay guys, so this concludes my video for my new Japanese skincare. I am trying out with a few hair products. If you guys are curious about the names, I'll put it in the description box. I really suggest if you're into skincare, try a new product, switch up your routine, you know, do something special for yourself. And with that being said, I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.